What's up, comic book fans? It's Detroit Madman, and I'm back, and it's time to do the eBay haul, finally. Um, I did stop by the comic book store today, and I picked up a couple of comics. Um, there's some stuff out of the dollar box in here, so I thought I'd just go ahead and show you. Um, I actually paid a couple of bucks for this. It's called The Life of Captain Marvel, and uh, I remember this. Uh, it's a real heavy stock comic book, and uh, came out in the mid '80s, early '80s. Um, really cool uh, artwork. Artwork uh, on all three stories was done by Jim Starlin. The first story has uh, has a Thanos Iron Man story, uh, which is kind of cool. The second story. Um, different inker it's inked by chick stone and the artworks kinda cool it was pretty good and then the third story I liked the best I thought the inking on the third story was the best and the um, the third one was inked by uh, Dave Cockrum and uh, has, has some good stuff in there I thought it was a darker story pretty cool and then an awesome Thanos on the back so uh, got that for a couple of bucks and I I remembered it's in real nice shape so I picked that up and then for a few bucks I got this and uh, this thing is in gem really nice condition it's called the black lightning and it's a total DC black exploitation um, comic book from 1977 and it's it's just so cliche um, the main character's name is Jefferson and it's got a couple of shocking panels in here he's getting he fights all these white guys and then um, his friends look for him they go to the gym and he's strung up in a uh, crucified manner on a basketball hoop. I was like, how shocking is that? And then, uh, of course, um, after that he becomes Black Lightning. But uh, typical uh, 70s pencils. Very cliche story. And I don't know if this was uh, DC's answer to, like, Power Man or, you know, Brother Voodoo or whatever, but I picked it up. Uh, condition was really really super cool on it so uh, it probably won't be worth anything anytime soon but I liked it alright then I hit the dollar box at the comic shop and I have I do not own this book yet but getting it for a dollar even though it is a reader copy uh, is definitely worth it and this thing isn't actually that bad on the inside but as you can see uh, the cover has many, 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 many issues with it. And somebody decided to color in the price. But inside, this thing is dope. And look at that. Off-white to white pages. And uh, super intact reader copy. And at some point, somebody actually sold this for 50 cents. But when I was 10 years old, this was the comic, and, and it probably passed through my hands a couple times at one point. Uh, I probably traded this thing for like a whole G.I. Joe fleet uh, when I had it as a kid, because I do remember having it on a, a couple of occasions. But this was like the gold standard for modern comics at the time uh, when I was 10 years old. And I just throw it in with the uh, X-Men run. I got, I've been picking up a couple of these awesome... Um, you know, the Claremont X-Men run. I uh, got this for a buck. It's Super Villain Team Up number 17. I thought it was pretty cool cover with the uh, um, all the villains on there. You got the Red Skull and Hate Monger. I mean, these comics are a trip. Um, saw this. Yeah, it's just a more modern Spider-Man comic, I guess. Decent looking cover. I have no idea what's inside of this. I, I don't even know who Generation X is. 
And I thought this was a cool looking comic. It's uh, Black Spider-Man posted up on um, Eddie Brock's tomb. Not bad for a buck. Sensational Spider-Man. And uh, it's kind of a uh, banged up copy a little bit of Amazing Spider-Man number 269. Uh, but I've been collecting these black suits. So this is uh, one I needed. Got that for a buck. I got this one for a buck. Uh, this thing is in gem mint immaculate condition. Too bad I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, but the artwork on this reminded me of the old covers to the D&D modules from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. And it's, I, I believe it's a black and white comic on the inside. I didn't even want to take it out of the plastic. It was just immaculate. So. And I got this. Uh, it's a Marvel's issue. I believe it's issue number zero. So it's, I don't know if that's a preview. But it looks like it has an Alex Ross cover. And I know these came out many, many years ago. In the 90s, I believe. Um, but I uh, I wasn't collecting then, so I don't really know what they're all about. Then I saw this, and uh, it's uh, it looked like a super high condition Welcome Back Cotter number one, which was a TV show from when I was a kid, and that's John Travolta. And I believe this is Horseshack, and I think he just died recently. The real life uh, character that's Gabe Kaplan, who was the teacher. Um, but it, it actually has a marker on it. I thought this was on the bag. and But it's not. It's actually on the comic. So it's probably why it was in there. And uh, I saw this. And it was a really cartoony looking thing. But it was two issues. For a buck. So 50 cents each. I, I don't know what it's all about. It's issue number one. And issue number four. I thought the artwork was kind of cool. And then I actually had this on my list to get. Um, I saw this artwork and really liked it. But this one's banged up a little bit. So they must have uh, had it on the shelf at one point and it got dinged. So they just threw it in the dollar box. But I really like that cover. And then um, this one here uh, is a variant cover of... Amazing Spider-Girl number one, and I actually paid three dollars for this one. Uh, I was in a half-off um, part of the. Uh, they had two sections there. One was uh, one-dollar books. One was half-off books, and uh, so I got this one. It looks to be in like 9.6 condition. I couldn't find it, a single flaw with it. And then uh, I got this one for three dollars here. It's actually a glow-in-the-dark uh, Venom, the Enemy Within Part 1, Issue 1. And uh, I actually ran, I put it under the light and I ran in the closet to test it out and it, it definitely works. It does glow in the dark. All this glows. This glows green and this glows white. So I was kind of stoked about that. Um, just a quick little stop I made today on the way home. Um, you know, 20 bucks. But what I really wanted to get into, obviously, is the eBay haul. So, um, so let's do it. First and foremost, this was one of the first things I bought on eBay when I got back into collecting. It's a DVD, The Origins of Spider-Man. has a nice little documentary on it. I highly suggest finding this. Um, one for the documentary on the black Spider-Man in there. Uh, it's a real cool, like, maybe 20-minute movie about uh, the whole black suit but this is why I got this and I paid three dollars for this uh, in a dollar fifty shipping but it has a comic in it and um, it's Spider-Man 252 and I emailed the guy before and I said hey does it have that comic book in it because uh, he had mentioned they picked all these DVDs up at an estate sale and um, and so he's like, yeah, there's a comic book in it. I said, what's the condition look like? He said, it looks pretty good. And I said, all right. So that is a mini Spider-Man 252 for the Spider-Man collection. I was kind of stoked about that. 
Next up, um, I got this for seven dollars shipped, and put that there. What happened was it came in this floppy envelope with nothing but the board back to protect it, and uh, so it got. It actually got bent up a little bit. It's um, Batman number 423, and it's a McFarlane cover. And uh, I saw this in somebody's video, and I really liked it, so I went out and I found it. And uh, like I said, I paid seven bucks for it. It was uh, the guy said it was in like you know 7.0 condition, which I doubt, highly doubt it was. It, it feels like it has some condition issues to begin with, let alone the fact that it was damn near bent bent over completely when I when it arrived so I emailed him I told him I wanted to return if that was possible and uh, he sent me a refund for five bucks so I ended up getting this for two dollars shipped so I thought that was pretty cool I love the look of that comic but I might be on the look for I might be on the hunt for a uh, better copy of that one all right Next up, that. All right, uh, so here's a set of comics that I got. Actually, I was looking for one single comic in this lot, and I found ended up finding the whole this whole lot for cheap. So I, I just pulled the trigger on the whole lot, and it's a. This is a selfie variant of Flash, the new 52, uh, issue 34, issue 35. Got this for eight bucks, plus five bucks shipping. A variant cover here, a uh, Lego variant, issue 36, issue 37. Pretty cool looking cover. Issue 38. A Harley Quinn variant cover on issue 39. That's pretty cool. And then issue 40, which this is the issue I was trying to get. It's a swipe with um, one of my favorite movies of all time. I love this cover. North by Northwest. And then issue number one of the annual. And the artwork looks super cool on all these. And um, so pretty much what I was almost willing to pay for one issue, I ended up getting that whole lot for. So I was, I was really happy about that pickup. And then this right here, I picked up from a guy, another guy who said he got it from a, an estate sale. And this is the July 66 issue of Playboy. And if you don't know what this issue has, it's the issue that has the Vargas Batgirl in it. Poster. So that was awesome. Intact. Almost in um, pristine condition. Let's see here. Really good packing on some of these packages I got, which is awesome. Look at that. Um, this one is, I don't know. Okay, we'll 
save that one. All right, this one is. Oh, this is a uh, Detective Comics lot that I got. Um, this is another one of those. I was looking for one book, and then I came across a lot. So I picked it up. So this was pretty much a throw-in. Uh, so I got a Detective. These are in nice condition. Detective Comics Annual. Detective Comics number 494. And I got this, I think, for six bucks, and then a couple bucks shipping. But I got this Detective Comics Annual 1989, number two. It's just got that gruesome cover on it. Um, real gothic or, you know, controversial looking cover. Um, so this one is in near mint condition. Uh, and then uh, this is the one I really wanted. Um, it's issue number 627. It's kind of a swipe, obviously, to like Batman number one or whatever. And uh, so I was completely stoked about getting this in such high grade condition. And I think it cost me 10 bucks for all of those shipped. So that was a good pickup. I, I was um, happy about that one. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, this one I just got the other day, came a couple of days ago, and I got this for five bucks. Um, it is actually I think I got this for eight bucks. It is Showcase. Um, these are the Silver Age classics. So I got Showcase. I got the House of Secrets, number ninety-two. Got the Action Comics two fifty-two. The Green Lantern. Number 27, I think that is, or, or number 22. First appearance of the Silver Age Green Lantern. And then um, Brave and the Bold 28, which is first appearance of Justice League of America. And that is Showcase 4. Everybody knows that one. So I thought that was cool. And then the, these two were in there. It's the History of the DC Universe. I have no idea what these are all about or what they look like inside, but they're real thick, like, graphic novel type thickness. And uh, book one and book two by Wolfman and Perez. So those are some really good um, buys I was finding on eBay. Just um, getting my feet wet on eBay, finding some cool stuff. And then, oh, this one here... This one here is a group of Astro City comics, which I've never read before. Um, I have heard, obviously, good stuff about this series, so um, I got these for a dollar each. It was uh, ten bucks for the whole lot, and then like five or six bucks shipping. So um, the the lot starts here. I don't know if they're in order. November 13, December 13. Oh, okay, so this is issue number three, issue number four, issue number five, issue number six, issue number seven, issue number eight, number nine. These all look to be in near mint condition. Number ten. And then number 11 from Vertigo Comics. So not a bad little haul there, uh, considering after shipping and everything, I think I paid a buck, buck 25 at the most for those. Uh, this pickup here I was really happy about. Um, this was one of the first things I bought off of eBay. And I got this for $17, I believe. And it is all nine issues of the official index to Spider-Man. And I was looking for one issue, 
in particular of this and for I think five or six dollars more than uh, just one single mint copy that I had found of this I was able to get the whole index and what I love about this is not only the fact that it's um, got all the synopsis for all the Spider-Man comics and this I think it goes up into the 200s um, with every single issue recapped through the whole series look at this back cover this is the original artwork colored uh, that Ditko did for Amazing Fantasy 15 and I wanted to put this in a frame but the condition of this comic, I think I'll leave this. I think I'll find another copy of this since I have the whole set now. and I'll, So I can keep that copy loose to look at. And I'm going to find another copy of this to put in a frame. But that is amazing. You know, they uh, went ended up going with Kirby's artwork for Amazing Fantasy 15. And this was what Ditko brought, which I thought was amazing in itself. So, um, super happy about getting that. Every single one of these issues is near mint. And uh, so it's two. On the back of each of these um, issues is a is a cover. Some of them wrap all the way around. It's really cool. Um, so that's issue two, issue three, issue four. It's got that awesome cover with the Green Goblin. And like I said, they wrap around, so a lot of the um, villains are on the other side of the cover. Issue five, issue six. Issue 7, Green Goblin again. Issue 8, and then Issue 9, which is uh, wraps around with all the villains and, and all the characters in the whole series. It's pretty cool. All the main ones. Yep, so I was happy about that. Then let's see what we have here. Can I pick this one up? And that is Hulk issue 272. I loved this comic when I was a kid. Um, I was sad to see when I started going through my com the comics that I had. Um, this wasn't in it, even though I've known I knew I know I owned this, and so I had to get this. It had to be one of the first comics I picked up because I loved this comic so much. So I was happy about that pickup. Um, I don't think I paid too much for it. I think maybe five or six bucks shipped. And then next up I picked this right here and I got this for four dollars and it's Hulk 377 but I just love the cover on this. I've seen this cover a couple of times at the cons and I remember coming across it in a few different places and thinking oh, I gotta get this someday. And so, uh, so I was able to pick that up. And then what else do I have here? Okay, that one. All right, now we have something cool. This is one of the bigger things I bought. That's Silver Surfer issue number 12. And uh, it has a nick up in this corner, a little nick that I found. But outside of that, this thing is so beautiful. A couple of spine ticks. But uh, I, this is my first Silver Surfer issue. Um, since I started collecting again, uh, I did have a huge run of the um, Silver Age Silver Surfers when I was younger. And I traded it away for a baseball card collection. Uh, I think I had the first 20 issues, so I wish I wouldn't have done that, but, you know, I'm back on track. All right, so I got a couple left. This one I was super stoked about getting. It's one of my favorite Captain America covers, and just the amazing Kirby artwork, and that's Captain America 106, and as you can see, Book's in okay condition. I um, 
I don't know how much I paid for this one. I know it was one of the pricier things I bought, but I uh, I just love this cover. And I'm getting a little bit of a run of Captain America early cap issues. I have some that I haven't done videos for yet that I got at cons before um, I really started doing haul videos. So let's see the last one here. And here we go. For my Amazing Spider-Man run, my uh, I picked up this CGC 5.5 Amazing Spider-Man number 73. So I thought that was cool. Price was right. Alright guys, well that's my uh, eBay haul. I'm happy I was able to finally get to it. Um, hope you like some of the comics in that. I mean, it wasn't uh, super outrageous, um, you know, crazy Silver Age stuff, but hey, sometimes it's fun to collect uh, a multitude of different things, and, and I'm finding some of the other stuff I like in the hobby as well. So if you like it, leave a comment, hit the like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next haul. Peace.